What's up guys, Josh here from MobileTechVideos.com with another ROM and a flash review. Today talking about Caesars Continuum 2.0. And uh, let's go ahead and power this up. This is a Captivate based ROM on a Captivate. You get our typical AT&T World phone screen followed by a very cool product number matching i897 screen. Um, probably associated with the kernel that's being run right now. Uh, this ROM is running Hardcore Speed Mod K12Q kernel, so we're going to see that, followed up by a Continuum-based uh, boot animation. That's really cool. I think that that's minimalistic, but still has a nice effect at the same time. So, uh, obviously does support boot animation.zip. Um, one thing I wanted to mention before you get too involved on flashing, if you are flashing this with Clockwork Mod, please read the instructions in the original post, as they do have a different ROM for Clockwork Mod based flashing. So read that, be sure to get the alternative uh, ROM if you will be doing that. So here we are at the home screen. Um, we've got 24 hour time enabled right out of the box, so you would have to change that if you're not familiar with that. Uh, we'll go ahead and unlock using Samsung, I mean, uh, sorry, Android Unlock. And we've got this standard screen here. We've only added four applications, Linpack, Ninomark, Neocore, and Quadrant Standard. And um, basically right out of the box we can see that we've got the five doc icon. Uh, five icon doc, sorry about that. And um, that's going to give you an extra button at the bottom to, uh, to play with. And uh, puts apps in the middle like that. Apps will be side scrolling opposed to uh, vertical right out of the box. Uh, one thing to mention would be the new use of the JK4 modem. We can go into the About phone and see some statistics. And we can see that we're running Caesars Continuum uh, version 2.0, the uh, Hardcore Speed Mod uh, 2.6, 3.2.9, and the JK4 modem, obviously on the 2.2.1 uh, firmware. A uh, couple things to mention is, of course, being a 2.2.1, we do have the... Uh, for uh, option unlock screen, rocking away, so a quick switch to uh, a different lock screen is very simple. Um, obviously we have animations disabled by default, everything just flashes right on. You can easily enable animations by going into the display and saying all animations. Now things look a lot prettier, but you are using more CPU, so that was a, a feature that was left off by default, so don't freak out, it's available. Um, in addition to this, sound cannot tie a notification to the ringer volume, so just in case you were wondering, it can't do that. It is sporting, as most 2.2.1 uh, ROMs sport, the, uh, the option to switch from 3G to 2G, so a very cool option for people in low 3G areas but still connected to 3G towers. Um, some other things to mention would be that Voodoo Sound 2 is enabled on this. Um, in addition to that, we are running the hacked camera right out of the box on this particular ROM. So obviously the hacked camera meaning that if we wanted to take a picture with the power button, it's that easy. Um, so that's straight out of the box on that. It's also running um, Guardian Bob's Keep the Lights On APK. So you will automatically have uh, lights on as soon as you activate the uh, Guardian Bob application. To do that, you would actually just hold... Uh, sorry, that's not where widgets are. Uh, hold, go to widgets, and you would have the Guardian Bob option for keep the lights on there. You would turn the widget on. You would see the prompt at the bottom. So now, when we turn it on, we get the uh, capacitive light up at the bottom. So that's cool. Full haptic feedback for all four buttons at the bottom. So uh, like a lot of the developer's ROMs, we are seeing full haptic feedback. And now thanks to Guardian Bob, we've got the full capacitive lighting working correctly. So uh, something cool to mention. Um, also, if we were to make a phone call, uh, let's say 1-800-JOSH uh, is A for awesome. Uh, I couldn't think of a number that would be legit. If we made this phone call, uh, we'd see the record option that we would get right there. We could actually record what happens in the, in the call. So it's something really cool. So once the call connects, you would actually have the option to record. Uh, that's something that we haven't been seeing a whole lot of. So very cool feature there. Um, obviously we are running a themed notification bar with nice green accents up top and a blackish look to it. Um, in addition to this we also have the battery icon mod with a circular style uh, icon and that's something really cool to see as well. Um, ad blocking is built in with an advanced host file. Um, in addition to everything we've talked about there's also a cool gingerbread uh, keyboard with Windows Phone 7 mod uh, if we were to go into local text 
and do the MTM WP7. We can see a whole bunch of options for this. Uh, it's a well-designed keyboard, and if we were to select it, we could uh, take a quick look at what that would um, be like. So if we want to compose a message, we would get this type of keyboard, and uh, you know you would have a, a nice um, looking keyboard to play with something new, something fresh. So, and that was obviously enabled through here. So uh, something cool um, that's been added, obviously right there. So um, I think I've talked about pretty much everything I want to talk about. Uh, it's also supporting the JJ4 build uh, browser. So it's going to have a slightly more stable browser in most people's opinions. Um, and you'll be able to get to things very quickly. And uh, everything seems to be a little snappier with that. So uh, Wi-Fi and GPS have worked fantastic for me. I've been getting some, uh, some uh, questions about battery life on all the ROMs I do. Unfortunately, unless I review the ROM in very big detail, I actually don't have time to do the battery um, statistics for you. But I do suggest just reading the XDA thread. You're going to have lots of people that are rocking this on a daily basis that will actually be able to tell you more about the battery life. So uh, let's go ahead and uh, I'm going to allow my side to get caught up. And we're going to go ahead and run some tests. So let me go ahead and uh, turn off my timeout or actually turn it up to the highest I can. 10 minutes. And I'll catch up with you in just a second. Okay, so what we're going to do now is we're going to do a full uh, second tier memory clear as well as a full uh, task manager clear. So we're going to end all of our applications and do a level 2 memory clear. And we're only using 135 out of our 339 available uh, megabytes of RAM. And we're going to go ahead and start out with a test here. Let's go ahead and do our LIN packs and run the benchmark. And I will get this zoomed in for you. So 13.9. On the first test, we had a 13.95 and a 14 flat. So pretty decent scores there from our Linpack test. Uh, if we want to go into our next test, obviously I'd like to continue to give you the, the best accuracy on this stuff here. So we'll keep doing our uh, clears there. And we'll go ahead and do a Ninamark. And do a run. Let you demo that uh, voodoo sound there. And now that our mark has about come to a close, we end up with the 50.3 frames per second. So about average score. Obviously, we don't see much on the GPU side. One thing to mention is that the uh, the five dock five icon dock uh, launcher out of the box does not support uh, landscape because it is turned on, but it does not support it. So um, you will always have to keep doing this unless you want to use a different launcher. So that's something to mention. And do an end level two memory clear. Go back home and launch up our Neo Core and run. And then we'll start our benchmark. Really, really loving the voodoo sound. It's incredibly loud. It's very impressive. Obviously, I have it muffled against this, uh, this hard platform here. But uh, any of you guys have flashed around with voodoo sound, you know what I'm talking about. It sounds fantastic. Okay, 55.6 for the uh, Neo Core. We'll do one more good uh, RAM clear. And we'll launch our last product for Quadrant. And we'll go ahead and run the full benchmark for this product. Keep in mind that Voodoo is currently not enabled on this particular flash. 
I wanted to show it to you just as it would be presented um, in the original post. So I wanted to match up with that. So these results will not be as high because Voodoo is not enabled for the file system. Okay, we'll get our scores real quick. So we have a 1208, which is actually really good for non-Voodoo device. So we'll go back home. And uh, last thing I wanted to talk about really was the optional patches that you can install. Obviously, if we go straight into our About Phone, uh, we're going to see that it thinks we are a GTI 9000. There's an optional patch to re resolve this problem uh, and turn it into an i897 product name. Uh, that patch is available in the original post from uh, Caesar. And um, the other optional patch is the bloat removal patch. It's going to remove a lot of the Samsung applications and bloatware um, in case you didn't want them. So check out those patches in the original post of the developer's thread. And uh, obviously we've got no uh, startup or shutdown uh, sound. And we've got the original Samsung Galaxy S shutdown animation. So that is Caesars Continuum 2.0 brought to you by MobileTechVideos.com. And it's been another ROM and a Flash review. And I'm sorry that it's been a couple days since my last video. I've been really busy. Uh, head on over to MobileTechVideos.com. Check out the new site. Uh, it's, a fully, uh, it's a full new site running uh, WordPress. And uh, I'm really excited about it. I think it looks fantastic. I think it's going to provide a lot better experience than the the junk, I should say, that I had <laughs> running uh, a couple days ago. So check out that. Check out the original thread for this at xdadevelopers.com. Please donate to the developer if you appreciate his work, and please donate to me if you appreciate my work. Uh, your donations are what pay my web hosting and make this all free, and I can't thank you enough for any donations that I may receive. Um, no donation is too small, by the way, so don't feel like there's a, a, a minimum required. Anything helps me out tremendously, you can't even imagine. So, anyways, check out mobiletechvideos.com, the all new website. Check out the original thread, and as always, if you're ready to flash, good luck.